This video is in support of the Texas Behavioral Health Executive Committee's investigation into Linda Good McGillis. The accusation against McGillis is that she has profited in excess of $1 million on the fraudulent claim that she is a psychologist. The case number assigned is 2023-00465. And I don't know if she's really done all she did, but she supposedly had a couple of restaurants and she was also a psychologist, a trained psychologist. Mm -hmm. So that was, I don't know if she, I don't know if anybody's ever researched and found any of her degrees that she had a, a, a degree in psychology, but she claims she did. I'm Siren Warner. I am not a psychologist. I've never been a psychologist. I am a journalist and I have been investigating Linda McGillis, for the past nine months, I have been talking to her former clients. I've also been building a searchable database out of Linda's videos with advanced technology. We know that Linda is telling people with trauma that she can cure their trauma because she is a trained psychologist. And she's doing this behind closed doors. She has tried to keep it a secret, but she has made a few mistakes that you'll see uh, very soon. And we know that this is not a rumor. We know that this is not a conspiracy theory from someone with an ax to grind. Give up your medication, your anxiety medications, your bipolar medication. Your vessel will make it known to you. There is overwhelming evidence of fraud in this case, which you will see in your investigation. But I wouldn't make the mistake I made, which is to underestimate Linda. You will see on a case by case basis that what's going on here is sort of the worst case scenario that the council is designed to protect consumers from. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, because she's, here's the thing like, when you study psychology, and, and not to make it sound so simple, but trauma is trauma is trauma. Like, people, that have trauma, especially from childhood, there's a lot of them, most people, and there's only so many things, especially sitting on so many sessions with her, there's only so many different outcomes, you know, uh -huh. children, and she would talk to everybody, like people that were sold as children, were sex slaves, were abused, were all of these things. I have a strong feeling from my professional experience that Linda is going to pin the fact that Profundity Yours is listed as a counseling service on one of the members or former members. Somebody made a mistake. They got the wording wrong and it was supposed to say spiritual counselor, nothing to see here. But that is not what she is telling clients. What she's telling clients is I was a trained psychologist. Trust me with your trauma. Um, before all this, she said that she was a trained psychologist and that that's what she did for a living. Then she got sick. And so she got on Social Security and she was doing this counseling, quote unquote, on the side. I'm about to play some clips that I believe will motivate the board to interview Linda. And my advice would be to give her as little advanced warning as possible. Show her the candle exercise on our YouTube channel. It'll help her gain control of her mind, if you will. And one thing about counseling, because I used to be a licensed psychologist, my vessel before I walked in. One thing about counselors and therapists, they have you talk about your problems. 
but they don't have you deal with the emotional stuck energy within. It hit me hard. It hit me shamefully. You know, once I understood fully that I had been fooled, tricked, used, my mind had been twisted and manipulated. When I went to her for psychological care over a mind that had already been broken in a background that she knew about. One thing about counseling, because I used to be a licensed psychologist. For me, everything has been mental. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of uh, not uh, being able to see my parents. Or like, I really don't know if I can say not being able or I really don't want to do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, at this time of the stage, I really don't know. I really don't know. But, uh, but yeah, it has been... Um, challenge it has been challenged when i think that i did it right mm. here comes this reality and uh no i didn't and uh, the consequences are really awful for everybody mm -hmm. and um so that's what i'm doing you know do you I, see I how she's struggling with it oh yeah I am. you can hear it in her oh, words yeah. you can see it oh yeah i am not denied at all and why it is so, so, so hard because, because I don't let go things because everything about your individualization has been about control. Yeah. 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 And uh, that's one of the uh, strongest attachments. Mm -hmm. Can we share can an speak. example? Uh, yeah, like uh, for example, we had a, a, a call, a uh, PY call last night, yesterday morning, and um, um, I didn't see it at all, but I took the stage all the time. I didn't allow people to talk. I uh, pushed people down. And um, I, I thought, once again, that mine, you know, that it went great. And um, shortly after, I uh, started receiving the complaints you know, that, that people expressing their feelings towards um, everybody, everybody, um, including Linda that was not there. So I was like uh, shocked by the response, you know, I totally was was very, um, very shocked by that. So when we came home, because we were driving, she already came home, so when we came home, we got a chat and uh, we, continue talking about that, about what happened and uh, about my control, my lack of feelings, um, my mind driving uh, way of being. And well, yeah, this stuff is it really is tough. tough. Control is tough. because you're the one that's attached, emotionally attached to the memories of the past. Well, I was molested. Well, I'm sorry, I was child prostituted out from the time I was two years old. You don't see me whining about it. Wow, 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 I'm putting it on the world. Get the fuck over yourself. Get over your memory. <laughs> 